good evening, and welcome to the broadcast. My name is Jay Van Smith. I'm the executive producer of the Right Now TV show, Digital Satellite Broadcast Network, empowering the youth, the seniors, disabled, but physically challenged, special needs, veterans, all branches, and those in uniform. Uh, right Now TV is a, is a, is a division of, of the IMI Tri-State Alliance, who, who, uh, who offers advocacy, intervention, referral, employment, job placement, fair housing, and supportive services. We are a, non we are a non-profit 501c3 public benefit corporation. All donations, contributions, and funding sources are tax deductible. Today we are uh, honored to do the, bring you the biographical survey of the life and time of Bruce Meckless, the genius of Rock and Rudy's. This, this broadcast is brought to you on location. Again, uh, we are delighted to bring you the, the, the to present to you the, a biographical survey of the life and times of Bruce Nicholas, the man who put the holes in the cheese. Rock and Rudy's, a world class cultural iconic emporium. And again, we'd also like to do to uh, we have we'd like to give special thanks to the Missoula Copy Center, the American Red Cross, Big Sky Church, Outdoor the the Outback Steakhouse, U.S. Army, IMI Tri-State Alliance Parent Company, IMI Montana, the Montana Empowerment Network, Right Now TV at MCAT. Capex 8, Mr. Jeff uh, uh, Haley, Walmart, Walgreens Pharmacy, Hobbytown USA, and MCAT. Welcome to the, the, the enjoy the, the presentation.
Good morning. My name is Jay Van Smith. I'm the executive producer of the Right Now TV show. And today we are honored to do to film, to do a documentary on, um, on Rock and Rudy's, Montana's International Emporium. And uh, again, uh, we're, uh, I'd like to present our, our distinguished host and, and owner, Mr. Bruce Michaelis. 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 Yes, yes. Mr. Br uh, Mr. Michaelis, uh, welcome to the broadcast, and we thank you for allowing us to come in and, and, and feature you on a, a, a well, our welcome. Week. Welcome to Rock and Rudy's. I uh, hope that we can uh, give you a little tour of uh, what's going on here and a little historical view of uh, uh, things that have uh, transpired in the last uh, 34 years that we've been in Missoula and uh, show you a good time. We, we will be honored, sir. All right. If you will. All right. So uh, we're here in the front of Rock and Rudy's. This is our uh, third uh, location since we opened in 1982. And uh, my crew of uh, elves is busy at work um, taking care of uh, things for the holiday season. It's a busy time for us, a time we really enjoy because uh, it's whacked out and uh, um, lots of lots of things going on and transpiring and so uh, we're gonna just kinda take a look through Rock and Rudy's and do a little bit of a historical look back at things. Fantastic. All right. And let the show begin. I like these shirts. That is so classy. All right. Uh, well, I used to be a trombone player. <laughs> I was in a lot of bands and stuff. Uh, so uh, I guess I should maybe just start here with my buddy the bear, huh? All right, so uh, let's begin by uh, uh, going through the department that's really led us uh, since we opened in 1982 was a used record store and uh, that's our music department and obviously things have changed in the music business over the last 40 years but uh, we're still uh, poking along and uh, we've got uh, really one of the few music stores still uh, still in business in the Northwest and We've got a giant vinyl store that uh, is at a different location, but we also um, have a ton of vinyl records here, and it's been crazy to see the the comeback of turntables and um, uh, cartridges and speakers and things like that. And we've added uh, a corner of vinyl here. Um, obviously, the season is uh, Christmas, and so here's some holiday vinyl and. Um, goes around and it's been a uh, very much of a success so far. We sell a lot of new CDs but we sell a lot of used CDs also. Um, DVDs but most of them are music oriented DVDs but uh, what you see here now which uh, in comparison to other things at other music stores is a large selection but is a tiny selection from what we used to have. I mean, it used to be literally almost 10 times this size. So um, we can kind of walk through, and this is the pop and the rock section, and uh, um, uh, used CDs are mixed in with new CDs. Um, it's been surprising. I thought the compact disc was one of the um, premier ways of listening to music, but Things have changed, and the millennials um, have uh, chosen to buy music one song at a time, for the most part, and so that's uh, precluded the sales of albums and uh, um, compact discs and things like that. Um, sure, I, I, I mean, uh, it's, it's apparent that you have a, a selection of music from all over the world. Uh, I'm, is this the rat, the rat Pack, the original? That's the Rat Pack, yep. Uh, Dean and Sammy Davis Jr. and Frank Sinatra. Uh, quite, the, uh, quite the trio from the uh, oh, probably late 50s through the 
Um, mid 70s, they were going strong. Super, super. Is it? Is I <coughs> have, a, we have, we have an, an extensive collection of Beatle memorabilia. We do. We put most of it um, uh, away for the holiday season to just cram in stuff that we could actually sell. But we do have a huge. That should be another. Uh, Another uh, little Another segment vignette, yes, because we have uh, we have tons of really awesome memorabilia. I mean, socks, Beatles. underwear, uh, uh, salt pepper shakers, cake decorations, uh, little statues, all sorts of you know beetle wigs and things like that that were um, popular at the time from the 60s so um, I would love to show that to you sometime. And we would be delighted. All right. How about Elvis? Well, you, are you well, an Elvis the fan? King. I am an Elvis <laughs> fan, yes. Uh, the king. Yeah, he is the king and we uh, we have a couple three sales per every year and uh, um, I get to be the king and let me tell you, Wonderful. there's nothing like being the king. just getting a little part of being the king. It's It is the best. So <laughs> that's fantastic. And again, you are welcome to uh, we are, you welcome our our, our, broad, our audience, our viewing audience to to Rock and Rudy's. Uh, we are do, uh, doing a a, a, a a cultural documentary, um, the <laughs> iconic. Um, it's it's an emporium. In fact, uh, we we urge all where they have something for everyone. We. we all of, all we now. like to refer to it as a hipster department store. Super. And I so, um, so, yeah. So we've got a little bit of uh, um, a little guy. bit of everything. There's Buddy Guy. Willie yeah. Nelson. Yep, Willie N and together. You know, I mean, right. who would ever figure it's that? But, so uh, we, uh, um, as I was sort of alluding to earlier, our music selection is about a tenth of the size that it used to be. Um, with the classical? declining classical, classical, yep. Jazz. Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm impressed, sir. Yeah. You know, I was just telling some of some of the some of the producers over at the studio. It would take an actual day to do justice in, in here in Rock and Roll. Well, we started early in the morning, so I don't have anything <laughs> to do for the rest of the day. I hope you don't, because. I mean, I don't know how long that uh, tape lasts for, but I'm going for it, baby. There we go. We appreciate um, you, sir, and we're with you. <laughs> so we've, uh, we have a whole bunch of uh, different things that we've added to the store. As I say in the beginning, it was 98% music, mostly records, then compact discs came in. And so now uh, we've uh, added some uh, additional uh, um, products and uh, tried to keep our head above water and so far knock on wood uh, we've been able Mozart, to Mozart, Bob, Beethoven yep they're all dead so uh, um, <laughs> but we don't mind because the music lives on That's correct. Uh, so let's uh, let's move around here and see what else we got going on um, we sell a little bit of everything uh, gift items these are uh, somebody's idea, and they're actually old uh, uh, pieces of uh, actual working metal, um, bicycle chain, um, all sorts of uh, weirdness put together, um, and uh, they're, uh, let's see, what do they call those? Junkyard dogs. Um, so we've got that, and... Uh, Lots of imports and things like that. Uh, um, we've got a clothing department where we uh, sell mostly t-shirts and sweatshirts, Montana oriented. Being a, a sort of a tourist area in certain ways, Missoula has, um, uh, people want to have something to bring home that says I've been to Montana or I've been to Missoula. Or I was at Rock and Rudy's. Um, Star Wars, of course. Uh, we've got stand ups. Um, we try to jump on anything that uh, our, one of our mantras is uh, what do they, you, they say, what do, you, what do you sell at Rock and Rudy's? And I said, I'd like to say anything that's legal. And that's our um, <laughs> tapestries, another, you know, 
hipsters forever have had tapestries. We like to be the uh, the main place where hipsters kind of like to hang. Uh, so it's a it's a veritable pot pourri of uh, um, flasks. Flasks are a big item. Uh, Montana Brewery Passport. This is a, a listing of all the different uh, breweries in Montana. And when you go there, you get her uh, signed, kind of like your passport. And um, I'm sure they have to change it regularly because of the uh, plethora of breweries that uh, have opened in the last two or three years. So we got that. We carry, of course, the, uh, the old put a poster on your wall kind of thing for dorm rooms and um, uh, things like that, uh, Zippos, uh, all sorts of uh, kind of naughty games. Here's Snoop Dogg uh, selling out. Um, um, and uh, that's pretty much what everybody does eventually is they, they sell out because actually the money is the uh, driving force behind so much of our American culture. Um, and now that we've got our new leader, fearless leader in, it's going to be interesting to see how all of these things are affected by um, his leadership or lack of. I guess we'll be the deciding factor on that one. Since we put his ass in power, we'll have to be the ones that kick it out if he isn't doing the job. So. I don't mean to become political along the way, but every once in a while you get uh, stickers, 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 patches, patches, patches. Um, um, got up above, we've got a whole row of them. Another thing that's, you know, not our main, uh, not our main business, but people like it and it brings people in. and. So uh, we've tried to get a combination of things that appeal to uh, just about anybody. We've been very lucky that we've uh, got a toy department that seems to be attractive to small children. And so they start coming here when they're really young. And then when it's time to go shopping, they want to go to Rockin' Rudy's. And we've also been very lucky that uh, older folks such as myself that are in their late 60s or 70s also feel comfortable here and so uh, it's been a it's been a real awesome process of mixing it up and I guess that's it is a big mix up so, so what do you have here what do we, what is what are we looking at here this those are you know kind of uh, from real neat neat. yeah the, sort of a you know a night light or a, um, a light that's not obviously you can't read by it I mean I guess you could if you're right up against it but a, a gift item all sorts of different uh, ways of uh, having that little night light there for you um, and then we've got a uh, wax and candle department that um, again uh, uh, sort of hipster oriented beeswax candles they come from I believe they're from North Carolina um, uh, yes, they are, and uh, we've been dealing with many of our vendors for 15, 20 years. You're watching uh. right now TV. We're, we're filming live at Rockin' Rudy's, Montana's uh, International Emporium, where we have something for everyone. Yep, right now TV, and I want to you know, take the opportunity to thank you guys for <coughs> Excuse me, shopping uh, or stopping, and you haven't shopped yet. Yes, so, I, I, am, oh, sir. Yeah. I, have, I have got you on that one. And, we will, and, and again, I, you know, I, it, it, it's every every turn is a different day. Every turn, it does take we you. We do love it here. Yep. And I encourage all of our viewing audience to come in. I mean, bring a friend, bring, your, bring the children, bring, bring the parents. Uh, it's an adventure. Yeah, and it's grandpa and grandma, too. It, they have something for everyone. Yep. And yep. be prepared to spend it to, 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 to stay a while. Yep, it's, it's, yep. You can't right see it in, in 15 minutes. That's, so. That's so true. Sir, what do we have here? <coughs> We've got uh, sort of, uh, again, crystals and rocks and all sorts of different ways of presenting them. I think these are uh, put on your uh, 
on your rear view mirror kind of thing or hanging things like that. Um, it's, it's wild what people uh, want and are interested in and, uh, and we're trying to uh, provide that for them on many, many different uh, levels. Um, let's uh, come on in here and this is our jewelry department. <laughs> Lots of gifts too, but uh, the jewelry uh, section is a is a um, strong part of our business and goes really on both sides. We were very, very lucky. Um, one good story is that most of these cases came out of uh, the original Bon Marche in Seattle and were then shipped to Missoula to be part of the Bon before it was bought by Macy's, which was then now vacant. So um, all of these wonderful beautiful long shelves I mean the, the 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 engineering and the quality of these probably built in the I'm guessing the uh, early 1900s or um, um, shortly after that but all of the the glass and it just we were so so lucky to have uh, stumbled upon them and uh, glommed onto them and uh, so they uh, actually they go for quite a uh, quite a ways around with marble on the top and these mahogany finishes on the t on the uh, top of the glass and the uh, the molded glass that I don't know we we'd play hell trying to find uh, how to get those I love that plant sir well, it's yours if you can get it in your car. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have it. So tell me, so this is an extraordinary uh, get, uh, uh, jewelry section. Yes. Is this handcrafted jewelry? Uh, yes, much of it is. Uh, most of it is. Almost, I guess you would have to say all of it is. It's not. Um, but uh, imported from all over the world. Well, imported from all over the world. Much of it is free trade. Some of it is not. Um, but uh, again, this has been a very strong part of our uh, our mix of products, and we've been voted best jewelry store in Missoula. Can't tell you how many times. Many, 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 many times. And uh, so it's really. Uh, um, and it's all, each department has its own buyer and its own manager and they do the, uh, they do all the footwork and everything themselves and so I'm just around to uh, um, kind of, I, people ask me what I do and I say well I'm the guy that puts the holes in the cheese. So um, um, I love doing that. Um, I do have to wash off the uh, the pick thing that puts the holes in, which is sort of a long process, but uh, I do it anyway because I need something to do. Um, so anyway, jewelry department, wonderful scarves, um, headgear, wraps, uh, chimes, uh, uh, readers, again, winter hats because it's winter time. Um, and uh, this is sort of the ring area, necklaces and piercings on the other side. Um, you can actually get piercings down here, sir? No, no, no. Okay. No, Just but uh, yeah, earrings and uh, I don't know what you call them all. But, yeah, studs and things like that. Mm -hmm. And this is Sunshine, and she's been the long time. Uh, leader of the jewelry department and she's worked at Rudy's for how many years Sunshine? I think 22. 22 years she's been here um, and she still looks like she's 22. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got that and then uh, you know uh, more imports and gifts and this uh, rack right here was a, a beautiful piece that uh, used to be in the front window of the Wilma and at one time it had uh, a gown in it that belonged to I can't remember the actress's name but she went to like the 19 
61 Academy Awards, and so her dress was in this, and this, uh, this rack was uh, um, part of the Wilma's uh, historic kind of uh, history. Uh-huh, and uh, so we got that, and then we do have another piece that was in the Wilma that's downstairs that I'll show you. Um, boxes and more jewelry, uh, small boxes, boxes for uh, um, uh, pet ashes, things like that, or jewelry, or um, all sorts of different uses. So, at that, and uh, you know, uh, just a, again another taper section here of uh, um, 14 inch tapers. And Do they have the mix match shot to nitrogen also, sir? Uh, yes. It's a big thing with my, I have a 14 year On the other side there, right? Oh, yeah. You can. I see it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh huh. Um, and this is uh, another department. This is uh, body uh, uh, body basics, things that uh, um, soaps and lotions and um, hair goop and things like that. Again, um, obviously, I'm not running the department, so um, uh, hair goop might be the wrong way of. Uh, explaining it but um, what the heck so we've got uh, all sorts of lamps and we try to market uh, not only at eye level but uh, up above and Native American uh, um, artifacts dream catchers. dream catchers we've got a Bigfoot section um, <laughs> uh, and uh, things like calendars <laughs> and uh, kind of a toy department here. Most adult toys are in the back room a little bit. We went through that section, but this is more for kids. I mean, uh, we've got animals of all sizes, all types. Uh, one of the big problems is we have so many of these animals, and cleaning up after them is really uh, a huge deal uh, because yeah, they all eat, and then they all eat again so um, <laughs> uh, tubes for spinning um, fart machines um, mood mustaches a preloader fork where you uh, just uh, oh, kind of extend so you can grab from uh, the person next to you and when they're not looking um, things like that that are really necessities, but you would never see at a food farm or anything yeah, like that. Oh yeah, we got some we got chicken. Some chicken. Oh yeah, yep. Oh, wow. And uh, I don't think they make any noise. <laughs> They've had their voice boxes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So got those. A little bit of everything. Some magic. Um, Jumbo noses, wigs, uh, you know, what can you say? Um, and then we also have a uh, fabulous selection of hydro flasks. This is one of our best selling sections. And uh, these, uh, um, they're beautiful, they're uh, hot, they're cold, they're um, all sizes, growler sizes, and they're super popular. Um, um, which reminds me of the uh, uh, a small joke, if we have time, that I might, where the three guys are sitting at the bar drinking and they're having shots and beers, and they st the conversation goes to uh, where, uh, you know, what are the what what's the most important discovery in in history? And the first guy says, "Well, I think it's the telephone." Look, he says, "We can sit right here, and I can call London, England, and." That's amazing. They, they agree. And the second guy says, well, I think it's the computer because look at all the things you can do with the computer. And then they look at the third guy, and he's kind of the roughest edge of the bunch. He goes, well, I think it's the thermos bottle. And they look at him, the thermos bottle? I don't get it. All that can do is either keep things really hot or really cold. And he looks at him, and he goes, but how do it know? 
<laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> How do it know? How do it know? That's true. That's correct. <laughs> I I concur. Sir, what do we have here? More of them. Oh, More water what bottles. About, what about? Anything? We got them in all that sizes, happening. all colors, uh, all kind of lids that you can drink out of, straws. The, I mean, in today's society, if you don't have a water bottle, you're out of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm out of it. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't tell by now. Um, Today we are again honored to have Mr. M Mr. Mr. Bruce Michaelis. Nicholas. Nicholas from, from Rock and Roll. I'm going to work with you on that. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Pardon me? We'll dub in your voice. Okay. Yeah. Super. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, again, we're at Rock and Rudy's. Uh huh. And, and the, the address in, uh, sir, where, where are we located here? We're located uh, in, near downtown Missoula on Blaine Street. Kind of uh, uh, in a awesome spot, uh, and uh, we love it here. It's a little hard to find the first time, but after you find that, it's actually pretty easy. So we've been here in this location since 1991, and uh, we've sort of fit right in, and uh, it's 237 Blaine, and we're open uh, weekdays from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., and we're open on Sundays from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. So come on down. I mean, as Monty Hall would say. Uh, so a few more things that I can show you here. Uh, one of the things that uh, we absolutely love is our incense. We have, I think, I can almost say with certainty that this is the largest incense selection in uh, the known world. Um, and uh, it's crazy how much incense we sell, uh, different, different forms. People love the uh, different uh, uh, scents and different, uh, this uh, Nag Champa is our number one seller of all time and probably, you know, 20% of all sales are Nag Champa. Another thing that we kill with uh, is this uh, sweet grass, uh, which, uh, um, uh, is uh, hand picked and um, so we do the sweet grass, sage, all sorts of uh, uh, different ways of burning it and um, uh, so that and uh, then down front is our our paper department. I think it's the largest selection of cards and postcards and journals and um, all sorts of uh, different things. This is the holiday section. Got a huge selection of local artists. This uh, beautiful, this was also at, in the Wilma. It was downstairs in the, uh, um, gosh, what was the theater called downstairs? It was the, uh, the Chapel of the Dove. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eddie was, Eddie Sharp was into the doves. You can see that uh, this was added after the fact, but this was downstairs and uh, um, we ended up with it because we were about the only place in town that had a ceiling high enough that would support uh, the, uh, the spires that uh, it has. So it's been here and of course we pay uh, homage to the king. Uh, um, and as I said before, what a lovely thing it is to be able to be the king every once in a while. You know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mr. Rudy, tell yeah. us a little bit more about what, what, what's hanging above our heads. What are we looking at here? Uh, beautiful works of art. Uh, what, are you, what are you talking about? What, what, what are these? Oh, these are, uh, these kites. we've had for, they are kites. Uh, we got them, they're actually not for sale anymore. You can see they're absolutely filthy on the top. Uh, they've been up there. We used to be able to get them and, and we sold them for a long, long time and then we lost our resource for getting them, and uh, so they're just kind of up there. A lot of things in here are just most decor. I mean, the big, the big uh, barbed wire balls up here, and the geese, and uh, of course the king uh, um, up above over there. Uh, I think people enjoy. How about, how about this, this this piece of this work of art here? Would that be for sale? The rug? No. Yes. No. The, the no, a lot of people are disappointed because, oh, wow. you know, uh, we just no have onesies, <laughs> yeah, sorry. 
Snow goatee. <laughs> I'll see if I can find another one for you. I, that would look so good on your living room floor. Uh, well, I would hang it on my wall. I do it this <laughs> So uh, anyway, more paper products, bags, gift wrap. Uh, goes on and on and on. Um, and uh, so I'll let you kind of take a little walk through, look-see. Um, Christmas cards. Christmas cards. Definitely need, this is the season. Boy, you are on top of that one. You'd be good in retail. <laughs> <laughs> we also have here, oh, this is beautiful. They have paper. Paper galore. This is extraordinary. Gold. There's, there's Just, gift bags. Yeah, yep. this is gift I bags think. and, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. I can pull this, uh, I can pull the, uh, the ladder down. All right. And this, uh, sign up here is, uh, from the original Luke's Bar, which was the Charlie B's of the, 80s and 90s um oh yeah and uh, so we uh we ended up with that um people like to have their stuff displayed and uh, the history of things uh but uh, the luke's beer emporium sign has been a it's unfortunately it probably can't get it with that light up there and uh and it kind of sits out of the way but it's a beauty um so uh, that's sort of the 10 cent tour. It's better than what we do at MCAT. We get what's called a nipple tour. Hey, okay. So we doubled up on you then, huh? Yes. <laughs> we're in the same place where we started. We're, ba we're back where we started. Um, and, you know. <laughs> Snow globes. This is, this is incredible. Never seen anything like that. Look at this. Great scene. Whoa. And one more. For the mouth. It's pretty cool. We'll pop out. You could do the clothes. Okay. Do it there when we started? Yeah, or do it right here in the, in the you know, uh, did we? Chocolate? Yeah. And uh, one of our big uh, departments has uh, turned out to be candy. Who would have thunk it? But I like to say that because of Starbucks, uh, people are sort of used to spending $4.99 on a candy bar. Um, I mean, people used to say, well, I'll never spend two seventy-five on a cup of coffee. Um, but it wasn't long before they were spending two seventy-five. 375 and even more and so now we have candy bars that are 499 they used to be able to get four of these for 499 but uh so oh boy, thank I you thank you to starbucks for pushing it over the edge and candy is a huge thing it's like wine also people get to see you know how much chocolate how much cocoa where it came from um so People's tastes have been more discerning, and uh, um, that's uh, that's been a huge thing for us. You can see, I mean, it's uh, it's like a wine store with all the uh, different flavors. You know, here this one's 45% milk chocolate, 70% ch tart. So uh, all of those kinds of things. Anyway, I want to thank you boys for uh, stopping through, and uh, um, uh, it's been a pleasure kind of showing you around and walking through and um, we should do this again. Maybe we can talk a little more music. The Definitely. Day. Bruce, it's been a pleasure well, meeting you. Uh -huh. And again, I am, a, I, am, I am a patron of yours and I, I hope you can, I will continue to be as long as there's, as long as there's a rock and roll. Well, knock on wood, we're, uh, we're uh, planning on uh, keeping going for as long as we possibly can. I do have a, have a question. Yes. When, when, when did you, when was it started? And what was the origin of Rock and Rudy's? Well, 1982 was when I moved to 
Missoula with my used record collection yes, sir. and opened a used record store on uh, uh, on Higgins right across from the Missoulian. And then uh, we were there for about five years and then we moved around the corner to 3rd Street across from Bernice's Bakery, the building that's now the Missoula Food Bank. Yes, and we were there for about five years and then in 1991 we moved here and uh, this is, uh, we were so lucky to have found a building of this magnitude and size and we've grown into it and uh, people say, you know, uh, you have such a big store, we could put it anywhere. Well, if you look around, there's hardly any space to put anything anymore. So. And what are the hours, wait, wait, where are we located at now again? 237 Blaine is the address, yes. right near Hellgate High School. and. Uh, um, our phone is 542-0077. Uh, We're open from 9 to 9, Monday through Saturday, and 11 to 6 on Sunday. So, as Monty Hall would say, come on down. <laughs> and we want to thank you again, sir, for allowing us into, into this, this magnificent, uh, cultural, iconic cultural uh, international uh, um, Emporium. Well, thank you. Thank you for all the kind words, and uh, we'll do it again. We will. All right, man. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh.